Hello, it's Richard at Richard's Guitars, and today I've got a really exciting um, guitar. Ooh, hello. Uh, really exciting guitar to show you, and um, by Vintage Guitars. I have been really excited about the quality and how they are developing. We had a little bit, I, if you watch previous videos, you'll see I've had sort of, um, not, not even a love-hate relationship, but a uh, kind of slightly turbulent, up and down a bit, uh, relationship with Vintage Guitars, where I, I love to uh, recommend them, and um, because they do just provide such incredible value. Now, this is a, an absolutely classic example. So you've got a fixed bridge, so fixed bridge, Wilkinson hardware, couple of P90s which I absolutely love, I'll show you why in a minute. Uh, you've got, you know, beautiful string through body, old vintage filling neck, I think it's like a, it's kind of got, the radius I think it must be more like seven and a half or nine or something. It's, 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 um, it's more traditional, like a 60s neck, whatever that is, it's got a kind of 60s radius neck feel to it. And the balance, it's all, oh, it's got headstock tune on as well, but it feels beautifully balanced on my lap, really comfortable. I love the colours, comes in, uh, these colours, uh, sunburst, and this one is like the, the vintage white, I'd call it sort of through white or vintage, they, they've got a name for that, um, like a white wash, very retro finish. Anyone starting out to play electric guitar, this would be a real great guitar to start out on. Uh, the reason being is you don't have a trem, and by not having a trem, you avoid all the hassle. Uh, with a trem, you have springs, and when you break a string, the rest of the guitar goes out of tune. And it's a real faff, to be honest, finding uh, the string holes and everything else. Whereas this, it's straight through, bang, wallop. If you were doing a gig and you break a string, it doesn't, the, the guitar doesn't go out of tune. That's really cool. Uh, so, so it's very easy and simple to, to, to tune up, get ready to play. And generally they stay, they stay in tune pretty good. Um, now I'm currently on the uh, neck pickup here and I want to give you, um, I want to show you this uh, V6 uh, and make a little bit of a comparison between the two just to give you an idea of how the pickups are different. So if we look at uh, so let's look at that neck pickup. Let's just start there with the neck pickup. So um, let's start, do some. We've got delay on, should we take that off? So, no, I've taken no tone off. Okay, and if I rack the tone off as well, you get a real good idea of, um, Real off there. Get real smooth, jazzy, jazzy tones. Which you know. bring that back on. Okay. And now, if we just quickly listen to the comparison of the uh, single coil, the more Strat style. This is the V6. Okay. So if we put this on the neck pickup, and you can hear it straight away. That, 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 so if we uh, do the same thing. Now that's got a, that traditional classic S type sound. Can you hear that kind of twang? It's got that kind of plonky. Go back. P90s. Softer edge, isn't it? Like I love this. Like, this is where you get into like. This is why everyone buys so many guitars. Playing that one, I really, I, I get drawn to it, um, and uh, because it is the Strat sound that I, I, I like. Uh, and but um, I, um, but I do love the P90 sound because you just get a like this sweet, quick, sweet kind of sound. So if I whack out a, um, um, yeah. And uh, I was gonna do I have a brain freeze, so I was gonna go E in minor. Yeah, yeah, and A major seven. I'm gonna use my jam pal because I said I was gonna. So I'm gonna. 
If you don't know what a jam pal is, find out. Right, one, two, three, four. Way. I could hear that, that was going to drive me nuts, that toppy. Come at you. So, start again. Hang on. One, two, three, four. That's so why you gotta have a jam, pal. Uh, yeah, cool. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, so, so, so getting back to my, what was it? I'm doing a video. Um, the video, the video. Yeah, so we're doing, we're swapping between the, um, what was I doing? <laughs> uh, yeah, the idea was to just show you this guitar, which I think is absolutely lovely. I think, I think there's another example of how, you know, for 300 quid, Something so beautiful, sounds so lovely, lush, warm, mellow, gorgeous sounds. Um, so that's it, that's it, that's all I need to say about that. Just showing it you, 300 quid. Um, this leads to something else I want to talk to you about, which is that I've been so blooming impressed with what Vintage are doing, that we're gonna have a little wall full of them. And, my my plan. I don't even want to say this. <gasps> <It's> just, <laughs> I'm putting myself on the thing. But my plan is to have a range of vintage guitars all set up beautifully on the wall, so you can come in and see the LP shapes. The I don't I don't want to name the names because they all you know they're obviously styled in various styles of recognizable guitars that you may have seen before uh, and um, so yeah that, but, and, but they are what you can buy as a either somebody on a more limited budget or just starting out they really are inspiring and, uh, and, and it's a big credit to vintage guitars and, and I want to thank them because they've listened to my feedback and um, they've really helped me sort of get more because it is very difficult because, you know, everyone's just box shifting everything these days. People are just knocking out guitar. Like, every, it's just the way of the world, isn't it? Everything's going out cheap. And I'm busting a gut to find a niche where I can keep selling affordable guitars to, to people, maybe like yourself, who just wants to be inspired when you get started. And um, there really is very little margin in it. So, uh, you know, the money to be made when, when we're... Um, and if you look at my trust pilot score over the last month, we've been moving shop. And I've been decimated by people um, just unhappy with the length of time it's taken to get the guitar out. Because we've had the move, there's been delays, and you know it's really sad. It, it makes it pulls your heart out, really. Um, and let me bring that to something else, because we'll get through that. We're already through it. We're here now, we're having a good time. And we're, we're already made, we've caught a huge amount. And uh, I want to give you a bit of news about a guitar tech who's also working with us now, who's a really important person, close friend, uh, local guitar hero, uh, as well as a very long standing local guitar technician. So uh, who's working with me as well. But I want to keep, I want to tell you about it a bit later. Um, now then, very quickly, how long have I been waffling? Nine minutes, I'm all right, I'm not doing too badly. Brings me to this. This guitar that I've just kind of just shown you a little bit of, um, this guitar. This guitar plays beautifully. It's been set up by us. 
it feels fantastic. The friends are lovely. I wish you could be here. Just feel, I mean, even if I were going to a club, I, I don't think I would embarrass myself if that zoomed in and actually focused. This has been set up by us, and I will tell you now, those frets are as good as you're ever going to see on a 295 guitar. The intonation is absolutely bang on. It's perfect. The trem is beautifully set. And getting a nice, getting that upward pull. So where are we going from? We're almost getting three fret, three. We can get, I'm getting a three fret bend back pull and anyone who knows will know that that's good going at, um, on, a, on a back pull um, with a nice, nicely balanced, uh, that's beautifully, look at that. Nice, nice pitch on that. Really good, really good, all good. And, um, and I was playing this for ages earlier uh, and it's staying in tune beautifully. Now, so why am I telling all that? It got sent back to me. It got rejected by a customer. Customer was so unhappy with the guitar, he, he wanted a complete refund. So this is really, really important. Um, it's a, it, this is almost a separate video, but I'm just gonna whack it on the end of here because I don't wanna do a video all about it because to be honest, I don't wanna keep getting miserable uh, so I'm just going to whack it on as a bit of a, as a gentle reminder. If you're looking to buy a vintage guitar, they retail at under £300 or thereabouts, around about 300 quid. If you want to be, well, let me explain this. The, the, the guy who bought this, nice SA, which is fine, never a problem. Um, been let down by other stores, I've had to turn them back, you know. And this isn't the first time I've been in this position where you think, ooh, I'm on a, I'm on a test here. So um, um, it was set up with 10 to 46 strings. He wanted a really nice low action and it's really <laughs> lovely action. Um, so we did everything. We put the 10 to 46 strings, put on the low action, set it up beautifully and that was the result. We came back, came back with a list of failures. The list of failures were, let me show you, on the back of that headstock. Now I, I'm my monitor, I'm finding it difficult to see, but you probably can see it. Uh, I will find it because I, I have seen them. Right, above my finger there. Excuse the fact it's my middle finger, I'm not being rude. Um, hang on. Ah, oh, you can probably see it. So there is a little tiny, it's just in the wood. Tiny thing. So that's one. That's one of the, that was one of the failures. Next failure. He was appalled to see such shoddy workmanship. Um, that neck pocket. Oh, I'm so sorry because I can't guarantee. Right, that neck pocket. There's a, there is a bit of a gap, a little bit of a gap. Hang on. There it is, there it is. Now that makes it look really bad, but it's not really bad. It's, that is a dark shadow inside, inside there. On a, you know, in a perfect world, you'd get perfect connection between that neck socket and, um, and um, you know, the body. It's not, it's not, this isn't, this is a 300 quid guitar. It's not going to be absolutely perfect. That's not going to happen, okay? So if you want a guitar that's got a perfect neck pocket, I wouldn't even say buy a Fender because you might find that they're not perfect either. Maybe buy a Sir or a, a you know, some, some high-end custom shop. And also, I am talking to Gordon Smith. Theirs probably are perfect, but I've, I've been talking about Gordon to Gordon Smith around the thousand pound mark about a range of little, custom features that make a guitar really special and that and I would include that in there. Um, now what was the other thing? There was a bit of a scuff apparently on the um, see now look now this would get buffed out now I agree this is uh, let's have a look see if you get that come up <laughs> see if that comes out of there what's happened is in the packaging they, they get wrapped in a foil and, and basically what's happened is the guitar has got the tiniest scuff I mean I don't even know if you can see that Tiny scuff. Now that we could easily get that out with a bit of, um, uh, we would get that out with a bit of. Um, what well, a? I'd never. I, I can't even see it. The human eye doesn't see it if you just look at the guitar. But you've got to look for it. You've got to be doing this. You know. And then if I do that, at some point my eye's going to go. Ah. Mm, was that my? <laughs> Can I clean that off? Oh, it doesn't quite clean off, but it would it would buff off. It would just be a little bit of a, a fine bit of paste, buffing paste. Um, so the guitar is absolutely beautiful, but but it, there were five. So that was one, two, three. Oh yeah, you got it. You'll love this one. Here we go. And th but this is really important for you to see it because I want to be completely transparent about. Hey, now look at the. We're looking for a, a bit of filler 
missing off the last fret. Look! Look at that. How terrible is that? That's what it should look like. And that's what this one looks like. Just there, right on the end. Doesn't do any harm, doesn't do any, does, does, does nothing. Just, does, does absolutely zero, other than if you are of a particular type of mind, that will upset you. Now, I'm not trying to devalue what we do or devalue the customer's view. I am trying to tell you now, do not buy a vintage guitar or a guitar of a budget around that kind of price. And if what that looks like to you is a beautiful, well set up, beautifully set up, inspiring instrument that will, that will take you for years of enjoyment and playing, that's who we're selling to. We're not selling to someone who's going to do this. Because <laughs> it's, it's just not realistic, is it? Am I being unfair? Tell me if I'm being unfair. Right, so that's that. So that's, that's the vintage guitar thing. Um, I want to enjoy making you happy. That's, that's what I want to, I want, I want to enjoy, I want to enjoy, you know, I want to think you're playing and, and, and that you're getting happiness from this instrument, not that it's creating pain for you. So neither of us want it, do we? Um, and um, if it's going to cause you pain, seeing those kind of issues with a guitar at a budget price, then, um, then, then genuinely, hand on heart, have a chat with me. We can talk about Gordon Smith guitars. And what we can do, because this is a true, this is an absolutely genuine point. If you say to me, look, Rich, there's things that I can't live with. I can't live with if there's even a single fret with a little bit of filler missing. That, for example, we could fill, we could have done that second. If this, if this customer had said, Richard, I'm really not, I would have been the first, we'd have filled that. Uh, we'd have just got the tiniest bit of paste and taken that off. I mean, we can't do anything about it. It's just in the wood. It's just a little tiny little, it's not even a dent. It's just part of the wood. Um, this, we probably couldn't do anything about that. So, you know, that would be our falling down point. The, the neck socket, we would just, just couldn't do anything about it. Um, and then I would say to the customer, look, give me your list. Neck socket, finishing detail, whatever. I will make sure that when that guitar is made by Doug's crew, that guitar will not have any of those issues. I will give you that absolute guarantee because it's being handmade and you've been upfront with me and you've given me an idea of what your expectations are and we will I will make it I'll put my life on it you know I'll make sure it happens but but not on a vintage guitar so um yeah great okay well I hope that video helps and um yeah I'm really enjoying I'm enjoying my new space um and tell me if there's anything you want to see on the videos and uh, any, anything at all that you want to see and uh, I will uh, enjoy I'm sure I'll bring it to you there's going to be some jazz archtop guitars coming and um Lots, lots of different things, but I don't want to say something. Okay, cheers. All right, bye, bye.